Hello, welcome to Olivia Toys. Today we are building the new Lego Friends Heart Lake Vet Clinic. Now Heart Lake City has already had vet clinics in the past. I think the last one was in 2015 and there was a juniors one in 2016, but this is the newest one. So there are 258 pieces in this set. It is $70 here in Australia, but wait till you see what is included inside this mini doll wise and animal wise. And of course there's, there's all the building. The cool, cool, fun building, which is the whole point of being here, really, isn't it? And the mini dolls. Okay, so we got stickers, uh, we got the instruction sheet, and we've got the books that we need, and we're ready. We're pretty much ready to go. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's an awesome book. Let's get started. Right, first mini doll in this set is Mia. I was about to say strangely enough that it's Mia, but... Mia is included in this set. She loves looking after animals, so it makes perfect sense. She has a new top with a vet clinic print on it, which is very cute. Got a bit of an interesting scar happening on her leg, so there's a bit of a misprint happening there with Lego. Uh, I don't think there's anything else little else new to note on, on, on Mia. Her face is the same, her hair is the same, but her top is brandy brand new, which is awesome. She's got a, what do you call these things? A walkie talkie. There we go. You know how you lose words in the second and then you often actually, when I lose them, I often lose them for a very long time. So she's got the walkie talkie, matches a lot of the sets that we have seen recently. Now, we also have the new mold of horse with the bendable neck and the little cocked front leg and the rubbery tail and the rubbly, rubbly, the rubbery mane that we, we're seeing in these new Lego friends, 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 horses. And this is Bella. This is Mia's horse, which is, oh gosh, I think Bella's been around since before the reboot in 2018. Now, Bella gets her middle part here filled in with like a saddle blankety looking thing. And she's got a flower for her hair, of course, because without a flower, she wouldn't be complete. <laughs> so, got Bella, but we've also got, we've also got a speech problem. I was right, I'll work through it. But we've also got a saddle with, with like an emergency sireny. No, it's not siren, it's a light on the back. And a hook so that we can put the walkie talkie on it. So Bella is ready to go. Mia can be shoved up here in the saddle and she has no reins and standing up in the saddle, she looks a bit like a lunatic, but you know, there's no other way to put her in except maybe like this, like side saddle, which also looks totally hokey and is probably not quite, yeah, not quite as secure, but still, at least she's sitting on the darn horse now. Now, next mini doll is a new character called Savannah, or Savannah, or Savannah, we'd say Savannah here in Australia, and she's got a brand new top, and she's got the same nougat coloured skin as Olivia. Her top is really pretty with the flowers printed on it though. New headpiece with darkened glasses on because Savannah is visually impaired. And I love, oh hold on, have we seen this hair in black before? I don't think we have. Oh! Forget about her hair, there's a brand new puppy dog. Actually, we've seen this mold before, but this is her seeing eye dog, so he's got the special vest on the front. Oh, he's perfect. We can even put a bow on his head, though that would completely defeat the purpose of him as a work dog, as a seeing eye dog. She's got her stick and she's ready. It's so good to have a visually impaired mini doll. Look at this! Diversity and inclusion. I love it. Right, but we're not done with the mini dolls yet. We have also got Donna in this set, because it's her vet clinics. So it, Donna is Andrea's mum, and she has got uh, a, the new the new uh, top in the, the new vet clinic-y thing. And she, vet clinic -y thing, <laughs> in the new vet clinic design, she also has her hair up in this braided <laughs> hairpiece, which is hilarious. <laughs> Why do I find this so funny? Do you know why I find this so funny? Because I have never seen her with her hair tied up like this. And, like, this is what she looks like all the time. This is her hair when we see her in the series, even when she's working. And this hairpiece is the same hairpiece as Emma's new mum's hairpiece. <laughs> it's like this is the only hairpiece that mums can have. Mums, this is the hair fashion of the season. <laughs> oh, it does look really pretty. Like, it is a very, very pretty hair design, but... Yeah, okay, she's got her hair up. It's very sensible for work. I can accept that. Now, there's also another one of the new little kittens in here in a normal colour. So rather in, unlike the ones in the in the cubes. And a little tiny puppy too. So oh my goodness, how many animals is this? We have got three, four animals 
and three, oh, three mini dolls. And there's another animal too. There's a turtle in here as well. This is an immense amount of mini dolls and animals. So, wow. Okay, very exciting. We've got our whole cohort here, except for the turtle. And we're about to get to the turtle now. And it's a baby turtle. And the baby turtle is, oh, I won't give it away. So we have to build this bit here. There's a bit of water over here. And the vet clinic is right next to the beach because that's where it is. And the beach got a starfish on it. And here's where the turtle is. The turtle has nested on the other side of the road to the beach. So we need a sign making sure that all the motorists are aware that baby turtles cross here. Look, isn't that cute? Oh, and a little bit of a zebra crossing here and we're done. Got a crossing to the vet clinic on the other side of the beach. Now, now we get started with the actual vet clinic. We got some food here and we're really getting started now. We've definitely <laughs> built our base plan out very quickly. This is gonna be the front entryway with a lovely coral colored front doormat to welcome people in. And this isn't a wall. I was thinking this might be a wall, but no, this is the check-in desk. Desk, desk, why can I not speak? The check in desk with a cup there and the, the monitor where you can actually, you come up and you check yourself. Well, you, you check your pet in. <laughs> you can check yourself in, I suppose. But they're gonna look at you funny because, you know, you're not a pet. Right, we're at the end of bag number one. We've got a few little spare pieces there and bag number two has everything we need to keep going here. So this is the bag that Savannah actually came out of and she is coming here with her $100 bill because vets are expensive and you do getting vet in, get vet, vet, pet, pet, pet insurance is a pretty good idea because those pet bills can add up. That hundred dollars isn't gonna get her very far. But anyway, she's ready. She's bringing her puppy in for a checkup. This is, this is gonna be the notice board in, yeah, in the waiting room by the look of it. Is there much room there to wait? Do we even get a little seat to wait on? No, oh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's going to be standing room only in the waiting room. <laughs> Well, it's not a sitting room, is it? Okay, this is the front. Oh, so it's eight, number eight. And I don't know what the little thing is with the squares. What's the little thing with the squares? Is the security like a security login? Probably. This is the door. So I can identify this if I feel very, <laughs> very intelligent. Hello, door. I can clearly tell what you are. And over here, I still don't know what, what is going down over here. We're putting some some hay is it supposed to be hay did we just put hay in the vet clinic i suppose there is a horse included in here got a tap very useful for cleaning up messes and for washing hands that's a bit low for okay this is do we have a stables a stables a stable connected to the vet clinic i think we do so here is a bucket of water underneath our tap and on this wall we get a Another nicely printed sticker with some, yeah, okay, with some uh, pet supplies. Uh, and on the other side, there's a ladybird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's the outside. This is the inside. And obviously, we've got a whole heap of things there. We're going to be setting this up for the horse. So, what is. Does Mia's horse just. Does, does it stable here? Like room here? Or is this just where she can pop the horse so that she can take the horse out on vet emergency calls. It's very well set up anyway, for a horse. We're definitely equipped for a horse here. <laughs> Have horse, we'll travel. Okay, we're on the second level, getting some, getting some height happening in here and beams along the top to give it some really nice security. And, oh, nice, so big coral a big coral archway is the entryway to, yeah, okay. So this is where we put, we can store the saddle and the walkie talkie. And this is where we can store the horse. Yeah, horse storage, nice. There's barely any room for Donna to stand there at the vet check-in. <laughs> the horse is standing in here in its really quite capacious stable <laughs> compared to the actual vet part. Right, so massive horse stable with some, I think this is a new color for these stable doors. It's pretty, I love the mint, I love the coral. They look, they look so pretty together. Okay, what goes over here on this outward facing stud? Why, some vines creeping up the wall. Gotta have some greenery, it just makes it look so friendly and happy. It's lovely. There we go. I think we've, we, I think we've pretty much finished on the bottom level here now. Now on the next level, we've got a fair 
amount of real estate to start putting stuff in. So if we get these plates on, then we are at the end of this bag with a few extra pieces. Nice, nothing that shouldn't be there though. And we're up to bag number three. So this is, this is the bag that Donna is supposed to come in and she comes with a brush. Uh, that's how she got her hair so neatly into that lovely coronet, <laughs> the braided crown. Uh, and this is the bag that also these little, the little puppy and the kitten come in and all of her vet stuff. So this looks kind of hokey on her head because it sticks out weird. And she's, I'm putting the stethoscope on, but we might take that off because it sits really weirdly on that hair place. But still, hair please, hair piece. But still, it's nice to know that we have all of the equipment that we need for Donna to be a vet. Right, up here, sticker on this wall with some vet goodies, like some medicine and, and an emergency bag of things. Another door! No, gosh, got that wrong. It's a window. So the windows are blue tinted, as was the door. I didn't even notice that. And this is a sign. This is the sign. Oh, I really like the insignia for the uh, for the new vet. It's really cute. The, with the patty paw and the upside down heart with the little heartbeat thing going through it. I think it's really nice. I wonder how this compares to the new hospital color wise and architecture wise. I'm going to put them together side by side at the end and see whether they actually tie in nicely. Look, another door. I knew we were going to have another door. And here is, ah, uh, there's a butterfly out here on the banister and on the railing top there, there are some binoculars to check out for stranded wildlife out at sea. And doesn't the, the hospital has a little veranda just like that too, like this kind of little pointless side bit on the side, because that's where you put side bits. I'm definitely going to put them side by side. Sides. It's all about sides today. Right, on the top there are a couple of clips and some slopey bits. Wow, I don't even know what's happening on the top, but let's find out what we're putting inside. These are the important bits. I mean, it's all important, but I really like these bits. So in here we have got the ice pack for, for all those head injuries and an otoscope for checking the eyes and the ears. And on the top is a little container for putting stuff in. This looks like a checklist. So it is, it is a checklist. It doesn't look like the heart's been checked off twice. So we can fit the babies in there. So the puppy can go in there, the kitten can go in. Oh, can a bigger puppy go in? Kind of, not really, but I'm, <laughs> I can definitely squish him in there, right? But we'll put, the, we'll put the kitten in there for now. What about the other cabinet? Let's see. So this one has uh, some drawers and the drawers get a needle. We hide those in the bottom so people can't see them and a spoon. And on the top, uh, we get the pen and the, that other thing that I still don't know what it is, like a squeezy baby bottle kind of thing. Okay, and on the top, it looks like we're having the same sort of containery thing as the other side. And on this one, we get a label that's got a checklist on it too. And it looks like the paws are good, the hearts are good, and the eyes are good. So this puppy is, a puppy checks out perfectly. Okay, oh, what else do we have? Oh, hello, we've got some forward facing clips for holding stuff. So they're easily available. This is uh, that, that's, that's, that's a temperature taker thing. The thermometer doesn't even want to stick on very well. And this is where we're supposed to actually store the brush and the stethoscope, but I'm going to leave Donna in charge of that at the moment. And we're going to put this sticker on the clipboard and who's being investigated right now. It looks like a kitten on there. The kitten, we got a few ticks. There's still a box that needs to be ticked. So the kitten is getting a thorough checkup by the look of this, putting that on that outward facing claw. And now we take these up and we install them in that beautiful room that we created up on the second story. And the kitten's full of it, so she's gonna need some more up. <clears throat> check over. Yeah, she hasn't got all the ticks yet. <laughs> and on the top, there are some more places. Let's just shove that in there because it keeps falling off. There are some more places for putting stuff. So let's see what's going up here on this bench top. By the way, I really like that light yellow, light yellow mat there. It's a, it's a heat lamp or maybe an examination lamp for the, for the pets in their little tiny things. And on this side is a scale for measuring, <laughs> totally broken that kitten. Drop the kitten twice. Gonna need to check it for head injuries. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, what have we got here? We have got a solar panel. Either that or it's a really, really prettily, 
printed table for the roof. This is the roof. So this is the roof and this is not the roof. This is... I don't know what this is. I do! Their little puppy is! This is the big sign for the top. Oh, I love these little buildable signs. They're adorable. So, oh, there's a sticking plaster or a band-aid. What do you call that in your country? We call it a band-aid. Uh, the sticking plaster or a band-aid on these little puppy face. Look at this. Oh, this puppy has seen some serious stuff. Poor puppy. Oh, and I love the brown spot. So we take these up here. This goes on the hooks. So it's a really nice angled roof. Nice design. This is fun. And it's very modern. And this goes here. And the sign is beautifully visible from far, far away. Oh, so there we go. This is all built. It looks beautiful. It's very compact. It's going to be nice and easy to take from one place to another. The fact it comes with so many mini dolls and animals is fantastic. That's why the price point is where it is. And this little, yeah, nice. We can, oh, there are lots of scenes that you can set up with this. I really like it. Let's put it next door to the hospital. Yeah, architecturally wise and design wise, they actually match in very well together. They've got the same little banister and they're a similar height. Yeah, okay. I can see these looking nice side by side in a more modern looking Heart Lake City than my current setup. So I'm going to have to do a new Heart Lake City setup, I think, with these newly designed sets. But I like the old ones too. I really like this set though. I love the colours and I love all the mini dolls and the fact we've got Savannah and a guide dog and just, yeah, so many good things. All right, we've got to the end. Now is the time to do all of the things. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the set and check back in because there are more things going up all of the time. Plus, there's a backlog of lots of videos if you haven't seen them already. Go and check them out. Okay, I'll see you again with new stuff very soon though. <laughs> Bye.